to another handpan lesson. As you may have guessed from the intro, we're going to be talking about uh, accented notes, or in other words, varying the volume and the strength of each of your hits. Um, you can choose to pick a couple notes in your rhythm, or you can also kind of have a crescendo, as it's called, uh, which it means kind of like a continuous increase in your volume. So we'll do a couple of exercises that lead up to this, and then you can apply it uh, anywhere where you see fit. You may have also noticed that everything is just straight uh, right, left, right, left, right, left. So you don't have to worry about are you which hand comes next, basically. Uh, the easiest way to get started is we'll do a four quarters, right, left, right, left. But we'll accent the first note in each of these groups of four. So it would be something like strong, weak, weak. with a little more tempo, and you can speed it up as you feel comfortable, you'll be able to hear kind of a little bit of this uh, more melody to it. So it'll be something like. That's what it would sound like. Uh, you can also choose to move the accented note to another field, or it's easier to hear it. Let's say I move these, move the accented notes here. So it would go like. Once you feel comfortable with this, flip it over and make your left, your lead hand. So it would be something like... Again, start slow, speed it up, try it left and right with everything else. Uh, and you can experiment on different uh, tone fields as well, it's just the easiest to show it here. Uh, the next step will be take the same group of four, right, left, right, left, but make the first two notes accented. So it would be strong, strong, weak, weak, strong, strong, weak, weak. Something like that. Uh, with a little more tempo, again, that also has its own kind of melody to it. So it'd be like. You can also choose to move the accented notes up here to give it a little more accent, so it would be... Like that. If you're comfortable with the right-left, switch it over to left-right. Uh, that would be a little more difficult at first. This, uh, and then we'll get into the third one, which was it'll be triplets, which uh, we talked about in a previous uh, episode, which is you count that as one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, keeping the right left alternation. What that'll do is your the one will be first on the right, and then the next one will be on your left hand. So it'll be one, two, three, one. Move it up here. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. With a little more tempo, that also has its own kind of uh, awesome sound to it. comfortable with this, um, you can flip it over to your left hand uh, and then try to mix these up, um, something like, uh, I don't know. All this is, if you listen to it closely, is just right, left, right, left with different accents to it. After a while, you'll be able to totally freestyle this and uh, kind of do this, at, do this at will. But again, this takes uh, quite a bit of practice, uh, so don't get discouraged. Uh, keep it slow at first because your mind still has to think about 
what's the next step, what do I want to accent, but just keep the right, left, right, left going and you can't go wrong. Um, you also heard in the intro something which was a crescendo on the ding, which is, which all it is was just four notes in increasing volume. So let's just start with that. And then we'll, uh, we'll, combine, we'll make, combine it with the triplets and you'll get a really cool uh, beat going. So it's just... faster that sounds like so start slow quite simple now let's put this together with the triplets and you'll get a pretty cool rhythm going to do it slowly at first it'll be crescendo with a little more tempo that sounds like you'll notice that to continue the cycle you're actually going to be doing five notes here because it's one two three four and then you get into the beginning of the triplet which if you lead with your right hand also comes out to be uh, the right so what you're actually doing is one two three four and then you start the triplets which is starting here and and then you go into left right left right left right again doing a little more speed not too fast so you can still kind of follow on so you can definitely hear the difference will be the same sound and uh, I spoke about a little bit of freestyling uh, really just uh, just start doing straight slow simple left right left right left and then, and then just start accenting uh, random notes. After a while, you'll be able to have full control over this. So you just go. quite a bit of uh, ding playing like this so this will be something that I like to do uh, and then you heard uh, also in the intro uh, that you can you can apply this anywhere else and kind of get maybe a little roll going like and you can just sit there experimenting with this just keep a constant right left right left and increase the volume and then decrease the volume will help fine-tune your hands to be able to not just doing the same volume every time but really be able to give and this is going to give you playing a whole different color if you can do this I also uh, played around a little with the speed uh, I didn't want to put that into this lesson because playing with that is a little bit different so it actually means like maybe increasing the volume and decreasing the speed so that would be like play around with that as well and that gives you um, sometimes a good way to finish a song or something would be like or to start whatever you feel like but uh, basically yeah this this sounds pretty cool too I like to do this Increase the volume, decrease the volume. That's all you need to know. And then, uh, yeah, good luck practicing. 
Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to receive uh, updates on the future lessons.